Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So because I am the world's worst YouTuber, I totally forgot to film an intro for this hair look. Um, so I've decided that today I was gonna share with you guys how I styled my hair for my Q&A video, as you guys loved it so much. So this beach wavy look is literally my go-to at the moment. So I really hope you enjoy watching my tutorial on how I get this look. So like with anything, you wanna section off your hair. Um, I would, my hair is so thick at the moment because of my new bonded extensions so I'm literally like I try and make the sections as thin as possible um, otherwise it, oh, I don't know I feel like when it's thick you don't get like the curls right and then they fall out really easily I think the smaller the sections of hair um, then the more likely your curls are to stay so I'm just going to brush that through, make sure there's no knots. I have actually, before I've done this, before I sat down to film, I sprayed my hair with um, volume dry shampoo just because I feel like when you're going to curl your hair, it's really good to sort of like, I don't even know, I suppose it gives the hair like texture so that the like wand has something to like hold on to because I think, you know when it's like super soft and you've just washed your hair? Curls just don't last, and I washed my hair this morning, and I know that as long as I spray it with like dry shampoo or hairspray or something like that, the curls last and they don't just fall out. So that's what I do to kind of keep them in. So once again, of course, I'm using my 5-in-1 wand by Whitney Marie Beauty, um, and the fat one, the biggest one. And like I've said with the wave um, hair tutorial, it's the same sort of thing with the sense where you want to leave that little bit at the end so you don't get like all super curly but the difference between sort of soft waves and beachy waves are that you want to do each curl in a different direction and that is how you'll get the beachy waves versus the soft waves if that makes any sense so get started so it's exactly the same thing you want to just take little sections of hair make sure that they're flat so that you get like a nice kind of curl so the first one you basically go like backwards and forwards so that one was like backwards so you do like so and then hold it for like I probably count like 20 seconds in my head and then take it out like so and then the next one you want to go in the opposite direction so obviously that time I went like that if that makes sense like I took it backwards this time I want to put the wand in front of the hair and bring it forward I really hope that makes sense because I don't really know how to explain it but it's basically backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. I'll show you again in the next one. So we're going to go backwards, so it's, as you can see the wand is behind this piece of hair and you're going to wrap it around like so, leaving that little bit at the end. And then last bit, so you can see the wand is now in front of that piece of hair and you're going to wrap it around leaving that little bit at the end like so and then you're just going to do exactly the same thing on the other side so there we go so that's both sections done and then you just want to repeat the steps and bring down more sections as you go the only thing I do when I'm going on to my like second section is try and grab the hair that hasn't been done away from the section that has that makes sense and kind of put the section that you have curled behind you so that it's out of the way oh my god that's such an itchy nose <laughs> and yeah the same thing on the other side just so you don't end up like curling the same section twice because it's already takes long enough as it is you don't want to be going over the same thing so yeah like so and just do the same thing just brush it through Right, so I've done both of those two sections now. So just bring down, oh god, I'm stuck. Just bring down some more. Um, right, so when you get to like pretty much the top section bit, what I like to do is just take away like my fringy bit um, and like any kind of random bits at the top here that kind of need to be done slightly differently and just take them out of the way. It's just because like, the fringe, I don't know, like it's easy to do, but I find it a little bit trickier. So I just like to keep it out of the way until I've done the rest of them. 
So again, I'm just gonna bring the bits I haven't done forward. Right, and put that all back. Oh my God, I actually look hilarious. I look like a dinosaur. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna brush it through again. Uh, I think that was a knot. Okay, and that's it, you're done. No, I'm joking. <laughs> the only thing I would say is that if you have shorter layers like me, I don't like to curl them too high up. So I'll kind of bring the wand like down towards the end and just kind of curl the end of it, if that makes any sense. Because I feel like with this kind of like beachy wave look, I kind of like the top of my hair to still be quite flat. So I kind of just curl, can you see? It's like, oh, that's really high up, Sarah, well done. Um, it's kind of started like halfway down that strand of hair, just so I don't get too much volume at the top of it. So you just literally want to just kind of curl the end of it. The only ones I'd say, when you get to like this layer, make sure the one that is closest to your face, so for example the one I'm doing now, is the one where you go backwards. So it's being curled away from your face. Just no particular reason, but I just feel like it looks better because obviously it just frames the face nicer. So now we're going to do this last layer. So, basically, I have middle part, well, I have a middle parting. I kind of wear my hair wherever it falls. But when I like when I do this look, I like to kind of make sure it is in the middle, as I feel like it does look better. So, just brush through the bits that you haven't yet. What is that? That's in my hair. That you haven't yet curled, like so. So as you can see, they're like the bang bits. If we want to be American and call them that, then that's fine too. Um. So, like I said about how with the top layers of my hair, I liked to only curl from the middle downwards. That's why I keep this bit back, because I like this hairstyle when it's like quite flat on the top, like it is now almost. So as you can see, like I want it to look like that, but I want the curls to start from about here. I don't want them to be like up here, because it, I just don't think it looks right. I don't know why, but I just don't. So, like I did with the other bits, you just wanna get your piece of hair and start around about there, I'd say. And just curl the end of it. Oh, and try and hold on to the hair at the same time. This bit you can bring slightly higher, just to bring a little bit more volume into that front bit. And I don't know why, but I like to go like this with it. It might not do anything, but I feel like it works on this front bit. Don't know why, it's just something I've always done. <laughs> so, there we go, that's that side. So I'm just gonna finish off the other side and then show you what it looks like. So that is all the sides done. So now I'm just gonna brush it through because I do not wanna look like I currently look. That's for sure. Right, so, brushed it through like so. And as you can see, and there's like mirrors all around me but I can't see because there's cameras in front of me. Um, yeah, so you get this really sort of like beachy, voluminous hair and you can literally like, you can do whatever you want, like you can add like some serious volume by just kind of like back combing it and doing whatever the hell you want. So um, that's basically it, that's everything I do to it and as you can see like it, it's not, it doesn't take that long at all, it's just sort of getting the backwards and forwards thing right and then once you've done that you've nailed it basically. So um, yeah, so that's it, I really hope that you have enjoyed watching and that it's helped you guys and if you try it out, well let me eat my hair, tag me in your pictures because I really like to see you guys like doing what I do and kind of recreating it. Uh, yeah, so give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.